Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Scrappin' on the Go's 2000 subscriber celebration hop and giveaway. So Scrappin' on the Go is Dolly Boyd and she is such a wonderful person and an awesome scrapbooker. And she used to participate in Stretch the Sketch with me. And so um, I actually really miss having her on that team, but uh, she knows she's always welcome to come back. But she is really awesome. Um, so you definitely need to go check out her channel. She is doing a giveaway as well. So you want to definitely check that out and see what she's um, offering. And uh, I am lifting this awesome layout that has these two semicircles that look to be slightly different sized. Or maybe it's the same circle cut in half or maybe not quite half, but um, a third and two thirds. <clears throat> I suppose I could have done that, but um, as you saw there, I just cut two semicircles, and then I uh, distressed them with my scissors. I wanted to rough them up a little just to give a little added dimension and texture to my layout. Now I do have a mouse pad underneath my uh, semicircle there, and I've got a piercing tool, and I'm just piercing about a quarter of an inch apart um, some little holes so that it makes it really easy for me to use some embroidery floss and do some stitching. I'm just doing a back stitch, which is a very simple um, type of stitch. It's probably the most widely known one where you just go down the hole and then you come up the next hole and then you go back down the hole that you were just in so that you get a solid line all the way across. If you were just to go up and down on each hole continuously, you would be skipping um, every other length or every other little section. And I didn't want to be skipping that, <clears throat> but I also didn't want to do additional work and um, do some other stitches that had that require more work. So it's a very simple one. And as you can see there, my line's not perfectly straight, but I'm not going to be totally worried about it or stressed about it because I do know that a lot of my... Um, embellishments are going to cover some of those areas. I obviously did not stitch behind where the photo goes. Um, I left that kind of just as it was. I just marked how wide that area was so that I didn't waste my thread going across there, my thread or my time. And um, But I didn't know where the rest of my embellishments were going to go, so I went ahead and filled in the rest of the areas. Now I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue to adhere each of the edges um, the, um, not all the way across the edge, but just at the very end where the, uh, embossing or embossing embroidery floss ends and starts so that it doesn't pop out again. I did actually also use a little bit of tape to tape those down. Um, and then I am using, it's just some white cardstock here and I'm using some distress oxide ink in carved pumpkin and I'm going to go ahead and make my own title. Um, I did try, or I did think about using some thickers, but I don't have any really good orange thickers. Um, I have a peachy color and I have a really glossy mirrored uh, fo or foiled looking orange one that is really large and neither one of those would have worked. So I decided to make my own and I will show you the packaging to the uh, dyes that I am using here. They are Sizzix dies, and I really like this font. It's really kind of fun, and it's got really um, a playful, youthful look to it. So I'm pretty happy with the way that that came out. And I did pop that up onto some foam. So I just take my fun foam, I peel it back, and adhere the paper that I want showing to the adhesive portion of the foam. And then I cut it out and then I run it through my machine to cut each letter. And that gives me my own thickers. Now, in order to adhere those down, I do have to use some liquid glue because the adhesive portion is no longer sticky. Now, there is the uh, type that I am using, the type of dies, and they are from Sizzix. They are Tim Holtz. Um, <clears throat> and again, I just really like the way that they look. I like that there are some solid letters there. Uh, it doesn't cut out the centers of everything. I think that looks really cool. So what I am documenting today is uh, my daughter <laughs> bought some water beads, which come really tiny, kind of like, uh, I don't even know how to describe how big. They come really very small, and then you soak them in water and they grow. 
And the box comes with like 20,000 water beads in it. And I thought she had already used some, but then I checked with her after and she said she hadn't used any, but she poured the whole box in the bathtub and then filled the bathtub with water and let them just expand. So Noah would have um, thousands of water beads to play in. And so I do need to go back and switch that to say 20 K because it was the whole box. Um, but at the, at this moment in time, it still says 15 K. Um, and then I do have a stamp set that I'm going to use to create some journaling lines. Uh, this stamp set is really old. I think probably from the mid two thousands, it's definitely not in print anymore or in production anymore. So, um, it is from Stampology. And it is called, um, oh, it's from 2008. It's called Autumn Leaves. But yeah, it, it there's no leaves on it. I don't know why it's called Autumn Leaves. Hmm. Oh, no, it's not called Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves is the company. It is called AL3227 Journaling. But anyway, <laughs> I don't think you can get it anymore. It's from 2008. So um, <clears throat> any journaling stamp or journaling uh, three by four card peeking out there would work if that's something that you're looking for. And then I did have a couple of um, pieces that I pulled out of my orange bin of orange ephemera and my bin of teal ephemera. And I'm just kind of layering this, those up around the photos. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do beyond that. It took me a little while to kind of figure out where, where I was going to go with this layout. I knew what I wanted for the title and I knew I wanted to use a couple of these pieces that say um, controlled chaos and uh, water beads. And then one says playtime. And so I, th I think they, it works. All of the little sayings worked really well. Um, these little two pieces that I'm inking up right now, um, they are just uh, this aqua color and they've got like little bubbles drawn on them, but it's in that lime green color, which matches the background paper. And that background paper is from Bella Boulevard, and I really liked the big dots on it. It has a grid pattern over the dots, but I really liked the big dots just to kind of uh, mimic the um, w water beads. So I'm using this stencil from Cartabella. It is uh, just, it's supposed to be snow, <laughs> actually. And of course, I will put the links to all of these products down below for you, but it is actually supposed to be snow, but it's just small dots. And so I thought that was perfect to, again, mimic the idea of the water beads. And I obviously should have put this down before I did a bunch of the other stuff that I've already worked on, but that's okay. Sometimes this happens where you kind of go back and go, well, I really probably should have added it uh, because I, at the end of the day, I really wanted some um, mixed media. It was those big black areas were just looking too blank to me. So that is why I decided I wanted to go and add some mixed media, but even still, it's not looking perfect to me. So I'm still trying to kind of like mull over in my head what I want to do while I am doing the things that I know are, that are second nature to me, like popping things up onto foam, gluing these little pieces down into place and layering them up. That's all kind of second nature. Uh, once you kind of know the placement of where you want them, it doesn't take a lot of thought to add a little foam behind each of those if, if that's what you want to do or to glue them back into the place where you want them while you kind of think about the other things. At least that's how my mind works. <clears throat> and while I glue that down, I'll remind you that this is a hop and I already told you to go check out Dolly's channel, but there are a bunch of people who are celebrating along with her. So be sure to go and uh, give them a little bit of love as well and see what... Uh, what which of Dolly's layouts they scrap lifted because I'm sure they chose some amazing layouts she had so many different ones to choose from but I decided this one worked really well for the topic that I wanted to um to document today so I have that same white piece of scrap paper and I just free handed a star on it because honestly I was being too lazy I did not want to go get my star dies which happened to be at my mom's house next door. It was kind of late in the evening. And um, so I just said, you know what, I'm just going to freehand a star. And then I will just do it really lightly in pencil and cut around it. And so that's what I did. And so all of the stars that I'm cutting today are freehanded. Um, 
<clears throat> freehanded with a pencil, not freehanded with my scissors. But I did, uh, I didn't actually follow the pencil lines. I kind of used them as a guide. And then I went a little bit bigger on these particular stars. And I did go back and have to, actually, I didn't erase the lines. I just flipped them over backwards, uh, the ones that had the pencil lines on them. So it, it worked out really well, and I really like the way that it looked. And I am inking these up again in Carved Pumpkin, which is the same color as the title and that journaling spot. So that works really well. It keeps in the color scheme and uh, just brings out more of the orange that's in that background paper. Now, again, I am f um, freehanding uh, some stars that are a little bit smaller, and I'm just using the leftover bits of paper. So I am going to have three stars in each of these areas, and I do really love the way that this ends up looking. And this really finished off the layout perfectly, in my opinion, um, because I had so many circles going on, I needed a different shape. And sometimes that happens, like when you're working on a grid layout, and all you're using is straight lines, whether it be squares or, tr or rectangles, sometimes, um, most often, it helps to add an organic shape in there, whether it be a circle or a leaf or a, f you know, la um, a vine or a flower or something like that. It, d it softens up those harsh lines. So the same is true kind of here where it's just kind of um, giving a little bit more interest to the layout. So these are the three colors that I used, Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers, and that Carved Pumpkin. And I just used my blending brushes from Tailored Expressions, and I just inked them up. And I'm going to tuck them in around uh, the layout. Once I get them placed where I want, I am going to glue them down, and then I'm going to use my Muji pen, and I'm going to do a sketchy line around each one of them. Had I thought about it beforehand, I would have probably done the sketchy line before I glued them down. But sometimes that's not how my head works. And so I'm kind of doing it after the fact. Um, and it's still possible to do it. It's not a big problem. You just kind of skip the areas that are tucked under. Um, and it looks fine. Nobody's going to really uh, peel things back and look at it once it's in the album. And the Muji pen is my favorite journaling pen, in case you are interested to know that. It's a 0.38 black Muji pen. I also have a 0.5 in navy blue. Um, I love both of them equally just using uh, the one that matches the layout the best for whichever layout I'm working on. So um, I did not do a sketchy line around the whole layout, mostly because I didn't feel like it, it really needed it, but the stars definitely needed it to help it stand out quite a bit. So don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along. I hope you enjoyed this layout. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Um, I did not include the journaling on this because my daughter will go back and include the journaling. She is the one who, uh, who was with him that day. And that's kind of what the way we do it. I do the layout and uh, she does the journaling if I was not at the event. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.